Hello, Eliseo. Good evening. Eliseo, are you here? Hello. Hola, Eliseo. Me escucha. Está por acá, Eliseo. Hola. Hello, Jeremy. Good evening. Good evening, Jeremy. Do you listen to me? Me escucha, Jeremy. Yeah, teacher. I hear okay, you. Okay, great. Yeah, because Eliseo was here. But probably because of the rain, he vanished. Acá estaba Eliseo, pero probablemente quizás por la lluvia, ¿verdad? Que en este momento se están aconteciendo en algunos lugares y muy fuerte. Acá ya pasó. Um, no pudo conectarse. But anyways, I am glad that you are here. Okay. And then you okay. are really welcome to the class, hey, Jeremy. So how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Mm, pues gracias a Dios, bien, teacher, descansé, descansé un poco. Ok, qué bueno. Sí, y logró trabajar un poquito en la plataforma, Jeremy. Fíjese, teacher, que la, la de la semana pasada traté, logré terminar. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, ok, perfect, excelente. Sí, pero como ya casi se acerca el periodo de vacaciones, van a tener unos dietas para ponerse al día en la vacación, ¿verdad? Y avanzar en las cuatro. Mm -hmm. Sí, okay. sí, esa es, mi, esa es la idea. Ok, mm -hmm. excelente. Eliseo, hello, welcome back. Bienvenido de nuevo, Eliseo. ¿Nos escucha, Eliseo? Hola. Eliseo. Yo escucho ahí a, a audio por parte de Eliseo, pero no le escucho la voz a Eliseo. Sí, Ticha, yo no lo, no lo alcanzo a escuchar también. Sí. ¿Está bien, Eliseo, con su audio, con sus audífonos? Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Welcome back. It is a pleasure to have you here, Catherine. ¿Nos escucha, Catherine? Hello, teacher. Okay, sí, thank sí. you. Okay, we listen to you perfectly. Eliseo, we don't listen to you. No le escuchamos, Eliseo. Verifique el, el audio. Mm, pareciera que nos estaba saludando, pero no se le escuchaba el liceo. Tal vez si desconecta y conecta nuevamente los audífonos. Sí se escuchó ahí que, que, que movió algo, ¿verdad? Bien, vamos a iniciar entonces la clase porque, ok, we are going to wait for the others to join, to get back. But right now we're going to get started because we need to take advantage of the connectivity and also of the, of the energy, okay, power. Um, vamos a iniciar. I'm going to share with you guys my PPT presentation, okay? Then we're going to try to practice. If you missed it, in caso que se lo hayan perdido, this is part of what we were doing, okay? If you remember last, last Thursday, right? Last Thursday, okay? Because you were working with how often questions, do you remember? How often do you go to the gym? How often do you travel by bus? How often do you listen to music in Spanish? How often do you and you, were creating your sentences and your partners were answering. And that is what we were working with last week, okay, last Thursday. And here, today we have our session number nine. And in order to read the objective for the lesson, okay, for today, I need one volunteer to help me, please. Necesito que alguno de ustedes me ayude a leer. 
el objetivo. Si son tan amables, ¿quién me ayudará? Hello, only one. Solo uno. Ok, thank you. Ok. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Question and short homework will be taught. Excellent. Very well. So we're going to be dealing with um, questions with the verb to be in fast and short answers. Only short answers. Okay. So we're going to I have a topic, the past tense of be in questions and short answers. Short answers, no full answers. And here we go. If you remember class last uh, Thursday, I shared with you an advanced preview of what was going to be today. Yes, and I told you get ready because you're going to be saying what you did in the weekend. So I'm going to share with you. And in here we have this conversation, okay? Let's pay attention and you tell me if you don't listen. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. That was the uh, speaking, okay? The conversation, and I'm going to refresh it. If you remember, last Thursday, we were... Um, we were identifying the verbs in past tense in this conversation. Do you remember that? For instance, you were uh, spotting that did, had, went. Okay, let's continue saying the verbs in past tense. Sang, um, did, which is the past tense of do, right? But in this case, it's the moral auxiliary. Didn't in negative. Went again, uh, did, yes, didn't again in negative, stayed, you told me that, studied, mm, forgot, and those are all. You were um, spotting them last Thursday. I'm going to play it one more time because if you don't have any question about the pronunciation or about the meaning of something in this conversation, you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms in order to practice the conversation, okay? So here we go. Let's pay close attention if you are so nice. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. So right now I'm going to stop sharing and tell me class, do you have any question about that conversation? About pronunciation? 
let me see. Okay. There you are. Mm. Yes. Um, okay, I am sharing via WhatsApp this conversation so you can have it in there and you can have the practice in the breakout rooms. And now class, tell me, do you have any question about this conversation? No questions. Are you sure? Yeah, teacher. No okay. questions. Okay, no questions. Okay. But the only thing is that it is your speaking time. Okay, so here. So what did you do last weekend? And you are going to use your names. If I am talking to Eliseo, hey, so what did you do last weekend, Eliseo? Oh, I had a great time. I went to. And he tells me, or I, okay, I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. You continue the conversation, okay? In order to practice this verb in past tense, uh, karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to the to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Oh, our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. You read once performing Rick and later you switch floors and you read what Meg says, okay? But remember, you're going to be using your names. Is that okay? Yes, class? Is it clear? Esta clara la indicación, ¿sí? Hello, somebody listen to me? ¿Alguien me escucha? Yes, teacher. Okay, is it clear? Está claro lo que van a hacer? Yes? Okay, yes. now you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Remember to switch roles, okay? Get ready because I'm going to send you the invitation and practice as much as possible, okay? Try to sound natural. Here, I'm going to send you right now the invitation. Okay. Join your groups, please. Join your groups and begin the speaking activity. Great. I need Jeremy to join to group number two, please. Jeremy, if you are so nice, go to group number two. Jeremy. Okay, thank you. Hello, here we are, Jeremy and Catherine. Are you ready, Jeremy, to begin practicing? Jeremy, ¿está listo para comenzar yeah. la práctica? If you want to sí. share the screen, you may do it, okay? Because you are allowed to. Si quieren compartir pantalla, alguno de ustedes lo puede hacer, pero también ya tienen vía WhatsApp y tienen también en la plataforma la conversación, okay? Let's begin, please. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Oh. Maybe Dennis and Claudia. Oh. Dennis? Hello, teacher. Okay, you are ready. If you want to share your screen, you feel free to do it because you have that, um, okay. okay, that option. And Remember, you have it in the platform and also you have it in your WhatsApp of the class. Okay, begin, please. Uh, okay. Claudia, you start. Okay. Yo empiezo. Yes.
Um, so, what did you do last weekend, May? Dennis. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sound like fun. Did you did you go to Lucas? No, we went. We didn't. We went to that new play. Dolphin. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed at home and studied for for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is, is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get in a... Okay. Now switch roles. Uh, now you yeah, begin, Deli. Okay. Empiece. Uh, okay. Eliseo, you begin. So, no sé Eli si yo o Eliseo. Eliseo está bien con su audio. Inicie la conversación, Eliseo. Queremos escuchar. No le escuchamos, Eliseo. Entonces. Claudia. Claudia, Eliseo, ask you, what did you do last weekend? Claudia, are you here? Oh, I had a great right time. I went to a karaoke bar and song, song with some friends on Saturday. Like fun. Did you work for you? No le escuché nada. Eliseo, repeat, please. That sounds like a fun. Did you go to Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to, to that new play down, downtown. How about you? Did you go did you go anywhere? Eliseo. No, oh, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. And now who is going to start? Dennis or who? Dennis, you begin the conversation. Hello, Dennis. Dennis. Okay, you begin and Claudia answers, yes? Hey. Okay. So, so what did you? No. Aquí también en din, din, dan. Yes, es didn't, didn't. Din. Didn't. Ah, con I. Sí, didn't. No, we didn't. We went to the new place downtown. How about you? Did you go did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Her Spanish test is today. I forgot uh, about that. 
Don't worry, you always get an A. Ok, ahora, ahora cambiamos. Empiezas tú. So, what did you do last weekend, eh, Jeremías? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. On Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. All weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations. Very well, class. Now uh, we're going to get back to the main session room to continue with another practice, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, great. Congratulations. Well Thank done. you, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the others, Catherine, to come back. Jeremy is in his way and the other three students. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're going to continue. <clears throat> Here we go. Let me see. Where's the platform? Okay. I'm going to refresh it. Okay. Remember here we have did, didn't, didn't. We don't say didn't because we don't see any E over here. Yes, in elephant, no. So didn't, didn't, did, didn't, okay? And now here, let me see, we are here. Okay. And now let's move towards this other activity, okay? which is the simple past over here. The lesson objective is to practice in this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Regular and irregular verbs will also be taught. But before we move to this, we're going to have a short practice on this, on the verb to be and okay, here. This is what we had last week. Okay, this is the speaking time you have. And here we have with did, because it was did. Do you remember? You're going to ask and answer these questions. What did you do last weekend with your real information? And actually, this is the, the question that you were practicing in the conversation. What did you do yesterday morning? And you say, I stayed there. Uh, in bed, I went to church, I went to the supermarket, I went to the park, I went to the movies, whatever, okay? Where did, what did you do? 
what did you do last Saturday night? Mm, I stayed home watching movies or I went to a party, I went to a disco or I uh, stayed home and read some books, a newspaper, a magazine, whatever, what you did, or I stayed at home, or I played the uh, games, video games. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Today, I had for breakfast, and you describe, for example, a cup of coffee, or a cup of tea, a cup of chocolate, um, you may say, and some pupusas. To tell you an example, did you go to the beach? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. If it is affirmative or negative. Did you go to work yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you watch a movie last weekend? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you do something special last week? Mm, yes, I um, celebrated blah, blah, birthday, to tell you an example, okay? Or no, I didn't. Did you visit your parents yesterday? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Okay. So comments or questions about this activity? No questions? No comments? Is it clear what you are going to be doing in the breakout rooms class? Yes. Tenemos claro lo que vamos a hacer en los breakout rooms. No, you're not teaching. Okay, I'm sharing right now via WhatsApp the questions. You are going to work in groups, in a small groups, and you are going to be asking that question, that set of questions. For example, if I ask, uh, let's see, mm, Claudia, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend, Claudia? Claudia, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hizo el fin de semana? Mm -hmm. One or two activities hay, pero tiene que decirle en pasado porque ya pasó, ¿verdad? El fin de semana. Mm -hmm. What did you do last weekend? One activity. Para decir, uh -huh. visité a mi familia. I visited my family. Sería visit, sería visited. en pasado. Uh -huh. Visited, sí, todas las respuestas van con verbos en pasado. I visited. In my, my family. I visited my family very well. Eliseo, ask me the second question. Give me a second. Give me a second. Because you have it in the break in the in the in the chat, okay? Yeah, right now. Okay. What did you do yesterday morning? Your yes. mom? Okay, yesterday morning. Mm. Yesterday morning, I went to the mall to buy some uh, school supplies for my son. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yesterday morning, this is full answer. I went to the mall to buy some school supplies for my son. Okay. So you're going to be according to your reality one activity. Okay. So now is it clear, Claudia, Katherine, Dennis, Jeremy, Eliseo? Yes, according to your reality, okay? Anyways, let's begin with the practice and I'm going to be monitoring, okay? So here we go, let's see. Esperemos que regresen los otros compañeros porque el internet y la energía con esta tormenta está un poquito complicada. So here we go. Um, okay, Eliseo. I'm going to assign you. Okay. Go to your groups. Go to your groups. And ask and answer the questions. Okay.
Ok, la otra vez. ¿Puedes verla? Yes. Hola. We can okay. see okay. you. Ay, no, don't. Don't take the, the screenshots like that. Be nice with me. <laughs> okay, begin. It's easier. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeremy, what did you do last weekend? Uh, last weekend, I went to a party with my family. Excellent. Okay. Excellent you answer dance? and excellent grammar. Very well. Uh, Eliseo, what did you do yesterday morning? Yesterday morning, I went to the church with my family. Uh, Catherine, what did you do last weekend? Uh, I was work. work. I went to work. I went to work. Fui a trabajar. I went to work. Okay. Uh, what did you do yesterday morning, Catherine? Vaya, entonces era la... La primera dice, what did you do last weekend? I... Um, I played soccer with my friends. Okay. Ahora. A usted le pregunto. Sí, what una did, y una vamos a. What did you do yesterday morning? Yesterday morning I was. My my mother. I visited my mother probably. Yes. I, vis I visited my mother because what did you do yesterday morning? Yesterday morning. My my my, my visited my mother. Excellent. Very well. La siguiente dice, what did you you do Saturday night? The, what did you last Saturday night? I said, what did you say? Sábado en Teacher, y para decir, um, me dormí temprano. Ah, I went, I, to I went to bed very early. I went to bed very early. I went to bed very okay. early. Very early, muy temprano. Early. Very early, okay. Okay. Now your question. Siguiente, Siguiente question. What did you... What did you have for breakfast this morning? Dennis, ay no, he lost the connectivity. Él ha tenido problemas desde el principio de la clase con la conexión por la lluvia quizás. So we're going to practice, okay? You ask me the question. Claudia? Uh, okay. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Um, this morning I had a cup of coffee. I had uh, 
scrambled eggs and uh, fried beans. And you, what did you have uh, for breakfast this morning? Claudia, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Um, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. What <laughs> did you have for breakfast this morning? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to say I didn't have breakfast because I am on a diet. <laughs> no, no, no desayuné porque estoy a dieta. Only water. <laughs> A mí me está preguntando qué desayuné. This morning. Uh -huh. Ok. Esta mañana, ¿qué comiste? Uh -huh. I ate or I had for breakfast. I, I drank. I drank. Drank coffee. Ok. No, más. Ok, I drank coffee and... ¿Y qué más? Um, Only coffee. Ah, really? Café. Oh, es my que God. Es un sueño, teacher. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee and coffee. Okay, instead of water, coffee, coffee and coffee, okay? Ask me the next question, Claudia. Did you go to the beach? Uh, no, I didn't. And you, did you go to the beach? No, no, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Excellent. No, I didn't. Okay, very well. Now ask me the next question. Did you go, did you go to the did you go to work yesterday? No, I didn't. And you did you go to work yesterday? No, I don't. No, I didn't. Porque es pasado. No, I didn't. Recuerde, no, I didn't. La, se contesta con el mismo verbo auxiliar que se hace la pregunta. Si yo le pregunto, did you go to work yesterday? Negative. No, I no, didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Now you okay. ask me the next question. Did you watch a movie last weekend? Mm, yes, I did. And you, did you watch a movie last weekend? No, I didn't. Oh, really? Okay, hold it. Two people want to log in. Dennis con dos dispositivos quiere ingresar el pobre y parece que tiene problemas de conexión. Okay, next question. Ask me the next question. Did you do something special last week? Last week. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. I did something special last week. I had a, a special celebration with one of my best friends, her birthday party. Okay. And okay. you, did you have uh, something special last week? No, I didn't special. Okay, now you ask the question to Dennis. Dennis is back. Okay, did you have something special? Ask the question, Claudia, to Dennis. 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 Okay, okay, Claudia has a question for you. Claudia, ask him the question. Did you have, did okay. you do, sorry, did you do something special last week? Dennis, did you, did you do something special last week? Algo en especial. Yeah, number eight. Uh, I, I play soccer. Oh, excellent. Now, uh, uh, you ask question number nine, Dennis, to Claudia. Okay, teacher. Did you visit your parents yesterday? Yesterday. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, now okay. you ask Claudia to Dennis the question. 
And you did you did you visit your parents yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, great, very well. Congratulations. So remember short answers, yes? And in some cases you need to be uh, more specific and give more information, but actually in affirmative, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Didn't, no, didn't, no, didn't, okay? Didn't. Okay, now. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't, okay? Now let's get back in order to continue with okay. the practice. Remember, we need to practice and develop fluency. Entre más practican, ¿verdad? Más se desarrolla la fluidez. Obvio que no va a ser de la noche a la mañana, but it is step by step, pero es paso a paso, ¿ok? So here we go. Mm. And now let's close. Un consejo, over. teacher. You need to listen to the conversations in the platform, ¿ok? And read. Read, read, even though you are not in class, aunque no estén en clase, pero ustedes tienen 24-7, aunque tengan unos 5 o 10 minutos de descanso en el break o después del, en, su, en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Conéctense y escuchen, porque practice makes perfect, es lo único. Escuchamos y repetimos, ¿verdad? Sí, entonces, ¿cómo digo? Así, y cuando lo van leyendo, es mejor todavía, porque a veces creemos escuchar algo, pero no es así. Es diferente cuando lo leemos y lo escuchamos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Sí. okay Tienen todos los recursos e ir tratando de avanzar en la plataforma, porque si encuentran algún problema, lo discutimos acá, ¿ok? okay. Lo, lo, de los audios, de problemas. Uh -huh. la, de la, las palabras... Son parecidas. Y, ah, correcto. Así es. Y no Por eso hay que escuchar. Pero, ajá, porque son homonyms, son homófonas. Tienen misma pronunciación, pero diferente escritura y diferente significado. ¿Ok? Es, es, es por, por el inglés de allá. <risa> es más, más difícil. No, eres the same. Inglés nativo, que... ¿eh? No, it is the same. The thing is that you need yes. to get used to the contextualization. Tenemos que contextualizar. Entonces, de acuerdo al contexto, okay. tiene que ser esta palabra y no la otra que yo creo que es. Okay, now let's get back and continue with the practice. Yes. Very well done. Claudia, congrats. Very well. And Dennis too. So let's get back to the main session room. Let's wait for Dennis. Because he is still in the breakout. He was with two devices. Estaba con dos dispositivos, Dennis, pero está teniendo problemas con la conexión. Okay, now let's continue class here and let's expect that the others can come back. Esperemos que puedan regresar los otros compañeros por la por los problemas que están teniendo con el internet esta noche, ¿ok? So here we go. Pay close attention to this video, ¿ok? It is in the platform. Here we go. I'm going to diminish this. Okay. Look at the structure. Did you go? Notice that we use did as you were practicing before. In the breakout rooms, asking and answer, answering the questions and also in the previous conversation. Did is followed by the subject pronoun and the subject pronoun is followed by the verb in present tense in the base form. Okay, the complement and at the end of the question, but let's listen to the video. 
In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. Okay, if you notice over here, you have in purple the verbs in simple past. So it means the action is over. They went to the park last weekend. It is a statement, okay? Sentence. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. But it is a full sentence. It is not the answers, the answer to a, to a question. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. So there you have the advice, okay, that the platform gives you. We need to learn the verb sim simple present, simple past, and past participle. But by now it is your, okay, your task, okay, to learn the verbs in present, simple present, and simple past. Study, study, write, wrote, live, left, okay, speak, spoke. That is uh, the advice that the platform gives you and I also give you that advice, yeah? So we have been practicing the questions and answers with regular and irregular verbs in the in the practice we had before. And the only thing after learning the structure is that you need to uh, learn the verbs in present. Because remember, when you build a question, recuerden cuando construimos las preguntas, did, en este caso información, ¿verdad? What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? Y acaba de dar la información, pero en el caso desde las 5 hasta la 9, did you go to the beach? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you and the verb in the base form y el verbo en su forma normal natural. ¿Ok? Porque lo que nos indica que la oración está estructurada en tiempo pasado es did. No, no decimos do, porque do, does es para presente simple. ¿Se recuerdan de eso? Did, sin embargo, se utiliza para todos los pronombres personales. Did you, did he, did she, did we, did they. ¿De acuerdo? 
cuando estructuramos las preguntas en pasado con did, there's no special person, no. Decimos, did, did I go to the beach? Did you go to the beach? Did he go to the beach? Did she go to the beach? Did it go to the beach? Did we go to the beach? Did they go to the beach? No hay ningún, ningún cambio ni en el verbo ni en el auxiliar. El mismo verbo auxiliar did para preguntas en, en pasado simple con todos los pronombres personales y la estructura se mantiene. En never forget the question mark at the end. ¿Está that ok? El signo de interrogación al final, ¿sí? Ok. Si tienen preguntas, háganla. Feel free to ask any question. Don't be shy. No tengan pena de, de ninguna, de hacer ninguna pregunta, ¿de acuerdo? That is why we are here. Para eso estamos acá. And here, knowledge check. Ok, so here. Let's complete this. O oh, ya lo completaron, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Hola. Todos los presentes ya completaron esto, ¿sí o no? No, teacher, yo no. Ok, entonces quien no lo haya hecho, lo hacemos por favor y tenemos. Como son preguntas, ¿verdad? En pasado, entonces veamos cuáles serán. You have in your, let's see, 10. And then you click on the one that you consider is correct. And later we're going to double check. Is that okay? I. Okay. Everyone in number four, but you begin. Okay, it is on 2.4, knowledge check. Let's do it. You, If you have any question, please ask me. Feel free to ask me. Siéntanse cómodos en preguntar, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. So class in number one, we say, did you stay home on Saturday? Uh, stayed home on Saturday or did you stay home on Saturday? The potential answer is the first, the second or the third? Third. The third, very well. In number two, no I. Call my friend, we, uh, to a cafe for lunch. No, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Or no, I didn't call it, uh, my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Or no, I didn't call my friend. We drive to a cafe for lunch. First, second, or third. First. The first. Very well. The first one. No, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. What about the third one? How did you spend your last birthday? How did you spend it, your last birthday or how did you spend your last birthday according to what you have studied? First, second, or third? Two. Excellent. It is the third one. And then we say, how did you spend 
your last birthday. Very well. In number four, you have, I have a party, everyone enjoy it, but the neighbors not like the noise. Mm -mm. I had a party, everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. Or I had a party, everyone enjoyed it, but mm, the neighbors didn't like the noise. Or I had a party, everyone enjoy it but the neighbors didn't like the noise first second or third what do you think guys the second one um, i had a party everyone enjoyed it but the neighbors didn't like the noise the second one, the second one, yeah, the second one. I had a party, everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. What about number five? What you last night? Did you do last night? Did you did last night? Or what do you did last night? The first, the second, or the third choice? Remember for questions in past tense, we use do or did. Did, do. Okay, excellent. The first alternative. Okay. And then you continue. with the others. So, um, next one, I do the new Jim Carrey song. I, it, the first, the second or the third. In number six. I go to the new Jim Carrey film. I loved it. I go to the new Jim Carrey film. I love it. Or the last one, which one? First, second, or third? What do you think, class? Which alternative? The third one, the third alternative, okay, in number six. Because it is not a question, so both verbs need to be in simple past tense. Now, what about number seven? It is a question. So which is the modal auxiliary for questions? Does, did, okay, which one? And when we use the modal auxiliary in past, the verb must be in past or in present. So your alternatives are, does you did 
did you do or did you did the first, the second, or the third? Did do. Excellent. The second alternative. Very well. Excellent. And what about, we're about to finish this, okay? And what about number eight, nine, and 10? In number nine, what do you think, class? Um, number eight, yes, I, period. Yes, I did. It must be, yes, I did. I went to spend, I go spending, or I went spending. The first, the second, or the third? The first. No. Yeah, that's it. Did, went, spent. That's it. The first one for number eight. And uh, what about number nine? It is a question. So it must be did at the beginning, right? Because that is the modal auxiliary to build questions in simple present. Did. Now the verb is uh, think, think, or sang. The first, the second, or the third alternative. When we build a question, remember the modal auxiliary must be in past and the verb must be in past or present. In present. So you say did and the verb is. Hello, sing, sing, did sing. And the last one, the last one is a piece of cake, yes or no? Which one is the last one? The first, the second, or the third? because it begins with no. So the negative is no I, no I did or no I didn't. Which one is it? No I, no I didn't. Yes, no I didn't. No, I didn't. Is that okay? Now I have to finish the class. Some questions, okay? Um, Dennis. Dennis, hello. Okay. Dennis, were you at work this morning? Were you at work this morning? Uh, work. Uh -huh. Were you at work this morning? Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Yes. No, yes, no. I, this morning. I was. No, I, no wasn't. I was. No, I wasn't. Or no, I was Board. not. No, I was not. Short answer. No, I wasn't. Catherine, a question for you. Catherine, were you were you at work this evening? Catherine, were you at work this evening? Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Catherine, I don't listen to you because of the microphone. Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Repita la pregunta. Were you at work this evening? Today, this evening. 
at about six, seven, were you at work? No, I was. No, I wasn't. You were not at work at six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was because you are at work right now. Okay. Yes, I were. Yes, I was. Estaba en el trabajo hoy en la tarde noche. Yes, I was. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, Claudia, were you in class tonight? Were you in class tonight? Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Excellent, very well, okay. We only got to the introduction of the past tense of the questions with the verb to be, but tomorrow we're going to go deeper into that, okay? And we're going to reach our objective. People, thank you so very much for joining to the class. And remember, if it is possible, try to go over with the exercises in the platform, okay? Have a good night. I know that some of you are at work and enjoy the weather because it is kind of fresh, okay? If you have any question or doubt about the, the activities in the platform, you text me, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye, take care. Have a good night, sleep well. Bye-bye, God bless you. Take care, blessings, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Claudia. Bye-bye, Denise.